<laughs> okay, so uh, a student of mine told me that I had an error in this uh, derivation here. And if you look at this line here, um, when you divide by 1 plus CGHY, there is no CG over here. So there's actually a 1. So I took this PDF and deleted everything down here and just put a 1 here. The equivalent block diagram down here is pretty much pointless because um, you would end up having to hit GCL and then 1 divided by CG, which would be kind of weird. So in order to get that to work, what I did over here in the code is I made a variable called G denominator, which is just 1 over 1 plus CGH. And then when I simulate the uh, open loop response here, I take the denominator and multiply by CG. So that's this term over here. And then when I do the disturbance, I just do D, D times um, that DNOM function. Um, another thing that I changed to make this code a little bit better is that I realized that when you look at the open loop system, you really don't want KP to be in there at all. So for the open loop, I just did HR times one times G. But in order for your open loop system to completely match your output and get 15, HR needs to be, or sorry, H, HR. Yeah, uh, HR has to be equal to HY, and HY then is a little a over big A, so that the, the little a and the big A cancel. Um, everything else is the same. I've already pushed this to GitHub, so if you run this, you actually see something that makes way more sense to me. So the blue line is open loop, right? Everything's great, no disturbance. Or sorry, the green line is open loop, no disturbance. You would perfectly get to 15. With the disturbance, you can't reject the disturbance, so you go down to this red line, open loop with disturbance. But then when you have this huge KP of 100, the blue line is no disturbance, and then the, the, uh, the orange line is with disturbance. So you completely reject it, okay? So sorry about that error. Um, hopefully uh, this, this kind of clears that up, and uh, happy programming. Elena, do you want to say anything?